Hello everyone, let me ask you something. What is the most powerful part of your body? Some may say muscles, others may say the heart, but the truth is your brain. Our brain is what makes us become us. It helps us to think, to feel, to speak, to dream, and connect. So why don't we take care of it? the same way we care of our body or our skin. Today, I want to talk about brain heart and why it should matter to all of us, no matter where we live or what we do. Across the world, brain heart is under attack. Depression, dementia, anxiety, stress, and stroke, they are growing faster than ever. Students are burning out. The workers are overwhelmed, the seniors are losing their memory. In rich countries, people struggle in silence. In poor countries, they don't even have an access to basic care. And yet, we still treat brain heart like a personal issue, like something you must fix alone. But. This is not a personal problem. This is a global crisis. And that means we need a global solution. We cannot fix this with medicine alone. Brain heart need more than just a doctor. We need teacher to educate young people about mental well-being. We need nutritionists to teach how food affect memory and words. We need engineers to build smart tools that detect stress early. We need families to create a safe and loving home. And yes, we need government to create a strong system of care. This is called an interdisciplinary approach, when many people from many fields work together. Because brain heart is not just a science. It is a teamwork of compassion, creativity, and connection. So, how we do move forward? We need to focus on three main things. Innovation. Let's create a new tools to support brain health, like apps, games, device, and system. The second is prevention. Let's teach people how to protect their brains, sleep well, eat healthy, reduce stress. And the last is care. Let's support those already struggling with love, not judgment. If we do these three things together, we don't just have improved brain health. We build a kinder, smarter, and healthy world. Friends, brain health is not a luxury. It is a human right, and it starts from our home, our school, and our heart. Your brain is yours, my brain is mine, but together, they will build in the future. So let us not stay silent, let us speak, teach, build, and care. For the students, for the workers, for the grandmothers, and for ourselves. Let us innovate it, let us repent, and let us care, because a healthy brain built a healthy world.